Hello! You join me as I wait for a wanted session to start. Uh, wanted is very similar to deathmatch, but with a couple of differences. Uh, mainly that the map is much bigger, and you are not the only character model of the character that you've chosen. So you've got a few more people to hide amongst. Um, but also there's another big difference. Um, I can choose my ability. Okay. Alright, love, I will. Um, basically, you see, there's a little thing at the bottom. And if I turn around, because different directions. And that is telling me where the person that I need to kill is. So I need to go over to this way. Um, I've got someone after me. But I might sneakily run because it's quite ah oh, balls oh I still stunned him oh good that's that's fortunate and he's running past me and stab and if you saw as he was running up to me the thing went big bigger and bigger and bigger then it took up the whole circle um, and was very bright and that guy's trying to kill me as well He's trying to work out who I am. So is that? Oh, that's good. Oh, I still stunned him. Amazing. And now the guy that I just stunned earlier on is my target. But you can see it goes bright blue when he's in my line of sight. Also, I didn't properly mention uh, the picture in the corner, the little avatar. And he jumps straight into me and I need to run because someone's right behind me. Nyaaah. Nyaaah. Um, basically, there's a little kind of circle around the avatar and that girl's trying to kill me. Stay hidden, stay hidden, don't kill me yet. And didn't work out who I was. Um, and around the avatar, there's little, it lights up and stuff. Gosh, lots of people trying to kill me. See, there's her picture, and it's all grey behind her, so she's like nowhere to be seen. And, ah, oh, I didn't stun him in time. Um, but uh, if it goes blue directly behind her in the background. That's a really odd position. If it goes blue directly in the background, it means that she's nearby. And if it goes blue around the outside, it means that she is within my vision. Um, same as if the little radar at the bottom goes bright blue. Um, but it's quite good because once you get right next to someone, the whole thing is blue. So you can't exactly pinpoint where they are, just that you're very near them. lady come on lady oh I didn't mean to do that Civilian killed. Oh. also another thing the reason why I accidentally killed that person instead of stun them is kill and stun are the same button now so yeah it's it's I think it was mainly to deal with the fact that um, Oh, I want that guy. It was to deal with the fact that when someone comes up to you, suddenly a bee appears above their head and you're like, oh crap, I've got to stop them from killing me. Um, come over here, come over here, run over here, dude. Oh, and I wasn't concentrating. Um, so yeah, now the two buttons are the same and it's, sometimes it seems easier, sometimes it seems harder because sometimes you like, uh, just spam the X button when you're really scared. Um, Oop, I want that guy. Thanks! And also, ah, pursue. Oh, man. There's also an added change. If you saw for a second underneath my name there, come on, load back up. It's now. Uh, no one's after it. Now, see the little red triangle? Basically, sometimes those triangles go see through. And uh, that guy's totally trying to kill me. He knows who I am and everything. Nah. 
The only thing is if you get to the top of the leaderboard quite quickly, then for the rest of the game, everyone's just trying to kill you. So I got lucky at the beginning, and now the rest of the game is just like, damn it. Um, I want her. No. Yeah, I want her. Oh, it's all blizzardy. She moved. Ah, there's a teleport that she can use, but she's nearby. She's oh, nearby. Oh no! There's someone after me. Someone after me. Kick. <gasps> Damn it! See, I tried to stun that guy, and then someone came up behind me and killed me. Oh, I'm gonna get killed a lot. <laughs> right, I'm gonna need to be a bit more sneaky. I've got points. I don't need to run around and get points. I just need to survive now. Um, oh, that guy is totally trying to kill me. My phone keeps going off. I hope you're not hearing that because that'd be a bit annoying for you. Um, I'm gonna run. Don't care. I'm gonna run. Someone used a flashbang, and basically that reveals the, all the people who are playing. Contested kill. Oh, I was a bit slow on that one. Um. around here. Just chill by this fire. Well, warm up by this fire, really. Oh, God, I'm just getting killed all the time. Um, basically, right, I was oh, explaining about the triangles. Um, sometimes they go grey and hollow. Um, with nothing inside them, just a lining. And See there? You couldn't do that before. Um, basically, what happens now is if someone kills a civilian instead of you, someone's totally, he's totally poisoned out of me, hasn't he? No, he hasn't. Ah, I might try and use my poison dart to kind of show you what goes, ah, oh, I wasn't being sensible there, I just walked out. Um, but yeah, basically, someone kills a civilian. I'm gonna go back. I'm just going all over the place with my explanations. Uh, if you kill a civilian, the person that you're pursuing has the chance to stun you and stop. F um, oh, I kind of had a feeling that he was trying to kill me, but it didn't show up properly as a little tag. This person, they're trying to kill you. He just smothered me to death under all those blankets. Which is just brilliant. But yeah. It adds, anyway, the being able to stun your pursuer when they've killed someone it adds an extra element to the gameplay and also gives you a bit more of a reason to look out for people trying to kill you other than just don't get killed, but you can actually get some bonus points from it. Well, that guy over there. Contract lost. Boom! See there? Um, and that guy is trying to kill me, I think. Gonna sneak you back over here. I've lost my contract. But you can really kind of clean up, really, sometimes with some of these points. Uh, I want this guy. I'm doing quite well in this round. I've actually not got this many points in a long while. Um, damn it. She says and then gets immediately killed. Um, I think it's probably because it's slightly lower level players, but the thing is with this game, I do find I found it was a hell of a lot easier to get into to than other games. So although I might be kind of right near the top, there's definitely a bit more of a chance for people to actually kill me and stuff, so... Ooh, stabby stabby! Um, 
30 seconds remaining. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I keep getting you killed. Um, if I can quickly show you, you can see on her belt there, on that side, uh, I put it in, like there, in the middle of the little circle, there's two little things on her belt. And they're two characters from, oops, from Revelations, which I think is quite sweet. Well, one's from Revelations, one from uh, Brotherhood to show that you've played the previous games, which is, I think is a nice little touch. And yay, I won! I've, well, I beat some kind of newer players, so... Oh, and some starred players! Oh, see, star players are people who've reached level 50. And I think you get a star for every time you level up to level 50 again. I'm not sure if that's the exact thing, but yeah, and I'm a stunner. I'm a total stunner in it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that... Um, Let's see all my stats and stuff there. Um, that That is uh, wanted. Slightly different from um, Deathmatch, but similar. I'm going to I'm gonna quit this because I'm going to go off and do some other things now. Um, but thank you for watching and uh, do, do give this game a go. Uh, I will warn you, lots of people playing um, Artifact Assault, which is basically Capture the Flag, and I, it's not, not my favourite game type. Um, uh, but there are still a few people playing kind of the original, really assassin y games where, you know, you have to go and find someone and kill them and stuff. Um, and if you really want a challenge, uh, I would go for Assassination, which is a special, I think, I think it's Assassination, uh, where you have no idea who you have to kill you just have to work out who is a character um and who's an npc like who's a person who's an npc and you have to select them and you have to kill them and yeah that's a fun tricky one but anyway i'm rambling um and i'm gonna go off now do give this game a go and i shall see you later <laughs>